Welcome back to Bloomers in the Garden. Well, Dan, we always, you know, we always have somebody saying, "Oh, I like to have a garden, but just don't know where to start." Uh, all you the know? time. Yeah, you all the that? time. Yeah, start in the ground. That's it. And <laughs> figure out what size you want it to be, and don't go too big. Yeah. Sometimes too big is just harder. You got to weed more. You have to do more. Go small, mm-hmm. ten by ten. Nice size. Perfect size. Yep. Perfect t- size to start. Mm-hmm. So. Let's assume that you're not going to go to a raised bed and, and we're going to just have you garden right directly in the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to remove all of the grass and the weeds that are in that area. You can't just kind of, and don't, I, I don't, I don't like it when people spray and to kill the stuff. The stuff yeah. There are organic sprays. I just, just don't do it. Yeah. The, e- the easiest way, you know, you can take a spade, get down real low, and scrape that off. But that's not necessarily the easiest. Yeah. Maybe the best, but it's not the easiest. The other thing is rent a little rototiller. Those mantis rototillers. I still have mine. They do. Oh, yeah. Nice. It. Uh, my son Carl broke it, but we fixed it. That's good. Uh, I think it was like three hundred bucks. It's not bad. And it was a rechargeable little rototiller, and it runs for about twenty minutes. Maybe a little longer, depending on. There's two different modes Adam. of power, yeah. and that I, I mean, my beds are all tilled right now. They are because wow. I use that little nice. sucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's a Mantis rototiller, something you can fit in an SUV without too much problem. Yeah. And it's <laughs> it, it does. There's a lot of shortages on things, and I know yeah. that that I asked them for parts, and they said, "Nah, no parts." You no know, parts. And we don't, and they don't have availability either. Wow. So maybe now they do, but this was probably about three months ago. Oh, okay. um, but a Mantis rototiller you can rent at most of your rental places, rental places. Nice. and that when you till up that grass and weeds mm-hmm. and and stones and things, you break all of that out. Get out of the way. You rake it out. And then you're going to add in a soil amendment. And we want you to use bumper crop. Mm -hmm. Use one bag for every 10 square feet. All right? And then you till it in again. And that way you'll have nice, soft soil. And that the deeper you go, you know, an extra step. Because, again, a rototiller is only going to get down about six inches or so. uh, If you dig in with a a fork, Mm -hmm. a digging fork, or a spade, and you turn it over a foot that's or 18 better. inches, now you're How really you doing something yeah. because you, uh, you're you going to create better drainage. You're going to improve the soil all the way through that mm-hmm. that area. And, again, think about it. If you're growing carrots, carrots yeah. are going to grow a foot. Yeah. Deep up. Right. Cool, yeah. And if you don't have good soil, what ends up <laughs> happening is they end up being, yeah, they, they <laughs> little, do. They little U-turn. They, yeah, they, have, <laughs> they, don't, they don't come out straight. So yeah. um, if you've got uh, clay especially, you want to yeah. make sure that you, you improve the soil. And each year you're going to improve the soil. You don't yeah. just put in a soil amendment once. Not one and done. Every huh? year. Yeah. Every year put it yeah. in because you're just making your, your soil that much better. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's what we want. The health of your plants above the ground mm. is directly related to how the roots are growing below the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to remember that doesn't matter if it's a house plant or if it's your vegetable garden. Mm. You need to make sure that the soil, and Julio and I talk about it all the time, the soil yep. is key. Yep. What's that one ingredient we always talk about? Mycorrhiza. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know, there you go. And, and the mycorrhiza, the fungi again, is so important. It, it 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 is the element that attaches to the roots of your plants that turns the fertilizer and and elements in the soil into a usable form for the plant. There you go. You've got you you. Gotta that's why you adding bumper crop is so important. Oh gosh, so important. Mm-hmm. Now. When you plant your plants, now let me back up. Before you plant your plants, okay? Mm-hmm. So, so you've tilled in your soil amendment. Yeah, nice and soft. I want you to put in garden tone. Yeah. Okay, three and a half pounds for 50 square feet. Mm-hmm. And you're going to work that in. You can rake it in or you can lightly till it in yeah, that's nice. into the first, you know, four to six inches of soil. Mm-hmm. I love that smell. 
<laughs> and it's all organic. Yeah, it is. It's all wonderful. organic. But you're going to reserve it. So buy the big bag. Uh -huh, yeah, the buy big the one. big bag. Yeah. Don't buy Don't a little skip. four pound yeah. or eight pound bag. Buy the big, That's you right. know, 36 pound bag. That's right. And the reason is, is you're going to spread it on the soil, till it in. Mm -hmm. Then after you plant your plants, you're going to do a little side dressing with that same garden tone yes. fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And then about six weeks later, you do it again. Yeah. Beautiful. Again. And then let's talk about what you're going to plant. Mm -hmm. Peppers, tomatoes, eggplant, basil. Ooh. Done. What a combination. <laughs> <laughs> and those are plants yeah. that are easy. Yeah. They're, I mean, ev everybody, yeah. I mean, everybody except me eats tomatoes. <laughs> You're yeah. the only guy in the in the whole country. I uh, picked too many <laughs> when I was young. Yeah, I can imagine. Um oh, that uh but they're easy to grow right. and that uh you get a yield and it's one of those things where you can, you know, mom, look what I did. Yeah, you know, where you get a basket full yeah, of yeah, right. uh, of different types of vegetables that you can harvest. They're easy. If you're starting out, start with the easy stuff, easy stuff. and expand. Yeah. You know, when you start dreaming in the winter time, and it's like, oh, what am I going to plant in my garden? Yeah. That's when you can get with some of the weird things like kohlrabi, <laughs> like coolio, <laughs> or you can yeah. plant carrot, carrot seeds, seeds, or yeah. you can do some other things. That's right. But just to get started, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And you could go with different types of peppers. I mean, oh, yeah, oh my gosh, there's so many different. How many, pe how many, how many other? <laughs> Does anybody really want Carolina Reaper peppers? Yeah. Do they really want them? I mean, Somebody's been buying it, them. It's, I mean, it's like the terrorist pepper. Oh, you know, it's gosh. like you're going to burn <laughs> your. Burn. I'm not, I don't we'll know. Go. <laughs> is, there, is there too hot? I mean, maybe oh, for yeah. most people. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, mm -hmm. but that's the thing. You can grow different types of tomatoes. Yeah, you know, you could types. big slice or beefsteak mm -hmm. style, and yeah. you could grow little grape tomatoes. Yeah. Anyway, keep it simple. Yeah. And, of course, basil and a few yeah. herbs, yeah. nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. some, Use something that you'll, you know, you'll plant use. something, rather, that you're going to use in, use in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, that you enjoy. Yep. Yeah, and make sure that you water. Oh. When you water, you've got to water it so that you know you're assimilating rain. You you don't. Nobody gets a good rain if you just kind of <laughs> spritz it. Yeah. You're gonna soak it down so that water goes through the to the bottom of the root system, and then you're gonna let it dry out and let that first couple of inches of soil dry out yeah. before you water it again. Mm -hmm. Deep watering more at one time, less often. Boy, that's great. Got anything to add, Julio? No, I think we, we hit it all. We, we got them yeah, all. Yeah, we hit the major. Uh, <laughs> we got the major ones. Major ones. Yeah, all right. Yeah. If you've got any easy. questions, please get in touch with us on the hotline yes. at 609-685-1880. And if we put you on, I am sporting our shirt, our T-shirt. Oh, I listen to Bloomers in the Garden. <laughs> and you'll get a T-shirt if yeah. you get on the air. All right. We'll be right back right after these messages. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Bertolome Rosen Flower Food with Systemic Insecticide 141211 contains five micronutrients which are designed for roses and provide proper nutrients in producing stunning green leaves essential new growth while protecting the plant from damaging insects for up to eight weeks. Bertolome Rosen Flower contains 14% nitrogen for green growth, building bigger canes, stems, and leaves, 12% phosphorus for root growth and increased flower production, 11% potash to promote vigorous growth so plants are better able to resist disease and cold. The micronutrients are the icing on the cake to enhance further growth, strengthen, and beautiful color to your plant. 
Tired of seeing your roses prematurely drop their leaves and the flowers disappear? Fertile Home Rose and Flower Food contains an easy-to-apply insecticide that keeps your roses looking great all year long. Those hungry Japanese beetles don't have a chance. Apply it in spring before buds sprout and continue through the season as indicated on the labeling guide. Fertile Home Rose and Flower Food 141211 with micronutrients and systemic insecticide is a must for the passionate flower grower to help produce that beautiful abundance of color and fantastic fragrance everyone will love. It's available at these great stores. Smeltzer and Sun Feed Supply, Route 9, Cape May, New Jersey. Mastardi Nursery, Chester Pike, Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Herfel Cross Keys Road, Washington Township, New Jersey.